with Isabella at Cloud Next. She is going to talk to us about her talk regarding scaling apps with Cloud SQL for MySQL. Isabella, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's our pleasure. So can you give us a brief intro of yourself, tell us what you do at Google, and a brief description of your talk? Uh, absolutely. So I lead Cloud SQL for MySQL on the product side. And this week at Next, we're talking about how you can really scale your MySQL databases with Cloud SQL to serve customers that you haven't previously been able to serve. When we talk about scaling, we're really focused on how you can improve the performance and availability of your MySQL databases. And then we have a bunch of really fun demos planned, including demos about vector search in Cloud SQL for MySQL, which is a launch we're really excited about. It allows you to bring similarity search directly into the operational databases that you're already using. Amazing, thank you. Okay, that sounds so interesting. Can you tell me a bit more about these Enterprise Plus features that are being launched? Yeah, we've been really excited by the response to Cloud SQL Enterprise Plus. Uh, the launches that we're announcing this week are really focused on making sure that downtime is a thing of the past. So we want to make sure that your most critical applications are always up. And what that means is, in the case of Cloud SQL for Cloud SQL Enterprise Plus, we now support sub-second downtime for planned maintenance, which is an awesome milestone. And we're bringing that to things like increasing the compute for your Cloud SQL instance. So if you find that you need more resources to support the application that you're running, you can increase the number of vCPU with memory and then have that change happen in sub-second downtime, which is a really awesome milestone. When it comes to improving the performance of your Cloud SQL instance, we've seen a a lot of, of really great results with customers who are using data cache. Data cache enables, data cache with Cloud SQL Enterprise Plus enables up to a three times improvement on read throughput. So it's a, a really, really great capability for customers that have very intensive read workloads running on Cloud SQL for MySQL. That is so wonderful. You're talking about data cache being really helpful. Are there any other best practices that you would really recommend for optimization to folks out there? Yeah, we see a lot of customers really heavily using two features within Cloud SQL for MySQL, Query Insights and System Insights, to really identify where there might be challenges with their database. Um, there are a bunch of launches that we're announcing here at Next that improve on this. So capabilities like Index Advisor can help tell you where you might want to add an index because you're using, you have a bunch of unoptimized queries that are running on your instance. So there are a lot of these performance recommenders that are coming in for Cloud SQL for MySQL that really help you narrow in on where you might have challenges and make sure you're getting the best performance out of your instance. Amazing, okay, and I want to go back to something you mentioned at the beginning, which is vector search, right? That's another launch that you're discussing. So what are the exciting innovations happening with vector search. Yeah, so you can now perform vector storage and search directly in the same Cloud SQL for MySQL instance that you're already using. So if you're interested in building Gen AI apps, and a lot of our customers are, right? It's a very hot topic right now. You can now use Cloud SQL for MySQL rather than needing to use a specialized vector database. So you can store vector embeddings directly in Cloud SQL for MySQL add a, an index to it that allows you to perform approximate nearest neighbor searches, and then perform those searches directly against your MySQL database. Um, this is now in public preview. We've had it in, in preview with a couple of customers for the last couple of months, and it's been really awesome to see what they've been building. Amazing, okay, so making building Gen AI apps even simpler and easier. We love that, I love that personally. <laughs> so, okay, uh, can you share some specific use cases or real world examples where this is particularly helpful or any customers you've worked with that you've said, wow, this is an amazing yeah. use case. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think one of the great things about MySQL is that it really is serving customers across every industry, every region, right? So many customers build with MySQL. And so when we see vector and Gen AI scenarios, they really do run the gambit of you know, e-commerce, FinServe. We have um, a, an exciting um, customer that we've been working with during private preview, Manhattan Associates, has been working with vector search uh, with Cloud SQL for MySQL. And, you know, they've been looking at how to do documentation searches to help, help their internal users 
identify RCAs faster. So there are a ton of use cases and we're really excited to see now that we're in public preview what our customers build. Yes, I totally agree. That's the best part of launching something most of the time, right? You get to see people play with it, all the creative ways that they engage with it. So exciting. So if folks want to learn more about these launches, where can they go? Well, we're going to put some links in the bottom, I think, yes. that to, to send um, customers down the right way. We have a blog that we've published about how this works. We actually also now have LangChain integration for Vector Store with Cloud SQL for MySQL. So there's a collab that we'll also link below. Great. So check out the description for those links and make sure to let us know your thoughts about this Cloud SQL for MySQL launch in the comments. Thank you so much, Isabella. Thank have a great you. rest of your next.